My name is Andy Sim, and I am the Associate Curator of Fish and Vertebrates. I have been uh, working at the Seattle Aquarium for the last 14 years and in uh, the public aquarium industry for uh, 23 years. I manage the aquarium's tropical fish and invertebrate collections. I get to feed the fish, maintain the exhibits, also get to help to design new exhibitry. I get to participate in research, uh, animal collection, and get to do a lot of scuba diving in the field. I really like the variety. The days are never exactly the same. Um, I get a, a really good mix of, of hands-on work and interaction with the animals. We've got a wonderful staff, a, a variety of people that I get to work with. Uh, I get to spend time in the field conducting research. I get to do a lot of scuba diving, participate in conservation uh, research that the aquarium is working on. Those are all things that uh, I really value. I've always had uh, an interest in the water. I have always had a really strong connection with marine environment, rivers, lakes, streams. I, I grew up in Seattle and I lived fairly close to Lake Washington. And um, I can remember as, as a kid just going down, there was a, a public access kind of wedged between two houses. And I'd run down there with a, a snorkel mask on and I spent as much time as I possibly could in the water. My name is Bryn Fredrickson and I am an aquarist here at the Seattle Aquarium. I've been in the field for about five or six years with about three years being a full-time aquarist. So my job is to replicate and maintain water ecosystems um, and the animals in them. And this in turn provides education and promotes conservation of those environments out in the wild so that they can last for years to come. And so ultimately, my job is really uh, conservation through taking care of animals at an aquarium. I think people would be most surprised to know about my job that it's not just taking care of the fish via husbandry tasks like cleaning and feeding. Um, we wear a lot of hats, I like to say. There's a lot of big variety. So I get to do a lot of really cool things like doing fish surgeries I helped out with the other day and medicating fish or taking care of animals. Um, sometimes I'm a plumber. Um, some days I get to completely design an entire new system or plan out what an ecoscape inside of a tank is going to look like. And some days I get to be an interpreter and inspire um, others to go into this field. And some days I'm a diver. So the variety, I think, is what people don't realize is part of this job. And it's also my favorite part of my job. My name is Nicole Killebrew. I'm the interpretation coordinator here at the Seattle Aquarium, and I also have the pleasure of being a scientific diver for the organization. I've been in the field for 21 years, and I've been here at the Seattle Aquarium for 19 years this month. As an interpretation coordinator, I get to work with the awesome staff and volunteers that welcome all of the guests here to the Seattle Aquarium. I have an opportunity to share the stories about the animals in our care and the ecosystems that they call home. As an interpretation uh, scuba diver, scientific diver, I also have the opportunity to take care of the animals and assist the life science team with the husbandry and the maintenance of the exhibits as well as educating people from underwater. Today, I had a wonderful opportunity to dive with our wolf eels, and I have to say they are one of my favorites, but don't tell the other fish. There's nothing like the feeling of having a wolf eel wrap across your shoulders as you feed it nibbles of fish and shrimp. The wolf eels in our care, they're used to us. They know that we're here to take care of them. And when they come out and say hello, it's just an awesome opportunity to see them and work with them in a new way. One of the hardest things to adjust to in my role is that I used to spend a lot of time on the floor, at the exhibits, interacting with guests. As a coordinator now, I don't spend quite as much time on the floor. I spend more of my time supporting my team from behind the scenes. I do have those moments when I miss having the interaction with a child that walks up and tugs on my sleeve. It's such a reminder that our work really can spark curiosity. And I still have that feeling. I still do that work. But sometimes I miss that tug on my sleeve, not being on the floor as often. 